let's figure out how we can get audio into our live stream by using our audio interface. So I have an Apollo twin and it has two inputs. So in the first input, I have my keyboard here, as you could see. <laughs> and in the second input is this microphone. So let's take a look in behind the Apollo and see how I hooked all this up. So what you could see now is the back of the Apollo. I have a Thunderbolt 2 cable connected to my Mac, and that's how I'm processing my plugins and audio through there. And then, right here, if I could hold this with one hand, is my keyboard input. So it's a mono input. Second input is the microphone I'm talking into. So piano and a microphone. Now, how do I get the audio out from the Apollo into my iPad? I'm using the monitor out stereo, right? So this is a stereo breakout cable. Tip and ring. Okay, so now follow me here over to the iPad where I have a three-in-one adapter. So what you could see here is this breakout cable sums to stereo, it's still stereo, but I'm summoning it, summoning it to mono. So it's a mini input in the Sabrent audio adapter. So it's a mono input and then it gets converted to USB. So that's a USB input right there. So breakout cable, one eighth inch, eighth inch into the Sabrent audio adapter, stereo to mono, goes straight into the iPad. And so as you could see here, I'm getting some great audio levels. Check that out. So now we need to understand how to get hot, a hot audio signal into your live stream without distorting. So specifically for this Apollo, but more so maybe for another interface, if you could locate a limiter plugin. So let me go to my screen here so you can see what I'm doing. So this plugin right here is a precision limiter which comes with the Apollo Council application what I'm doing here is I set the input gain at 9 dB, so there's 9 dB of gain, and the output I set at minus 3.6 dB. So that means nothing will, no audio will pass minus 3.6 dB. It's a brick wall limiter. So that setting I found to be ideal for live streaming and was also recommended by some pros that do this. So I set that there. And the other thing to notice is the dial, the physical dial on your interface, you need to calibrate to minus 18 dB. So minus 18 dB FS translates to zero dB in the analog world. So that's unity gain. So see this monitor? I have it on monitor, right? And I set it here. That's minus 18 dB you could find the correct setting. It'll show in numbers when you rotate the wheel. See on the bottom right hand, it's the wheel with the green line, it's a circle. So that's how you tell if it's minus 18 dB. Every time you turn it, it'll show the numbers and where you're at. So I found that to be a good setting. It may be different on your interface, but for the Apollo, that's what I'm doing. Also, there are levels to which you could send your monitor, your, your stereo signal out. I have it, I believe, at the highest setting, uh, just so I could get more headroom. You are going to have to experiment with that. So take in consideration the levels of your instrument, the gain level of your microphone. So if you properly set your gain le levels on your instrument, your microphone, you should be able to to do things very easily with setting up that limiter. So yeah, that those are some great settings to start out with. Once again, check that out. So I'm just talking and playing at the same time and no distortion whatsoever.
So that's how that sounds. So this is a very simple way to get great audio levels while going live, is using your audio interface, something that you already have. 